So, Coach, where did you grow up? I grew up in Grenada, Mississippi. Uh, it's about an hour and 15 minutes south of here, straight down I-55. Tell us about your years in high school. Um, high school, I did just about everything that I could. I played every sport they let me play and tried to play some that they wouldn't let me play. Uh, took regular classes, a couple of honors classes, and things like that, but I just liked sports, hanging out with friends, and doing whatever work I had to do to get through high school. What was a pivotal moment in your teenage years? I thought about this real hard when this came up. The only thing that I can think of really is, I think I was in 10th grade, time to get a job and start making a little money, right? Because I wanted, not because anybody was mad, I wanted to have a little money. So I went and applied for a job at Burger King. My mom, I got the job, my mom made me quit before I even started. She's like, you're not working Burger King, I did that. I don't want you to have to do that. You can do something else. So I actually started cutting grass. And I started like one yard, two yards, pick up yards here and there. And I ended up by the time I did it all the way through college. And by the time I got out of college, I built it up to the point where my dad, who also owns a business, just stayed and kept doing that. And I think just the work ethic I got from that of being able to, you know, work with your hands, go out, hard work and things like that. I think that really changed uh, my path you know, in life. Tell us about your college experience. Uh, college was fun. I mean, I like college. Uh, I went to a junior college first, went to Holmes Community College, and then I went to Delta State. Um, so I had the multiple different places there, um, just different things there with experiences. I took just about every class that Holmes Community College offered, and same thing when I got to Delta State, I took a whole bunch of classes. I like taking classes in college. How did you choose the college that you attended? Well. Growing up in Grenada, there was a campus there that my mom actually taught at, the Holmes Community College in Grenada, and I just always knew that that was where I was going to go because if you made an ACT of 21 or above at the time, you could get free tuition. So I didn't have to pay for college, so I was like, well, if I don't have to pay, obviously this is where I'm going to go. Uh, beyond that, I knew that if you got Phi Theta Kappa, which is a National Honor Society at junior colleges, if you got in that and you kept and you stayed there at Delta State, it would pay your full tuition at Delta State just for being in that honor society. So that's how I went from Holmes to Delta State. And also, Delta State was a traditionally a teacher college, and so I thought that would be a good place to go. How did you choose your future profession? What led you to become a teacher? Well, I went through a bunch of different things before I finally decided on teaching, coaching. I, honestly, I started out and it was like, all right, First year, you're always thinking about, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? All right, so hey, man, I want to be a lawyer or, or teaching coach. And so I went through that and had a friend try to take a test to get into law school, and he failed. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do that anymore. So I changed, and I, was, I decided that I would be uh, think pharmacy, pre-farm. So I was like, I'm going to do pharmacy. and Or I might teach and coach, too. And it just got to a point where I had always decided between two things. And one option was teaching coach, and one option was something that would probably make more money but obviously not something that I was as interested in as teaching and coaching because it was always there as an option. What's something outside of school that you are passionate about? Right now, um, I mean, mostly my family. Uh, I have a three-year-old daughter, and I mean, I just spending time with her, doing things with her. Uh, that's really probably my biggest passion now. As time changes, your passions change. You know, earlier there would probably be something different, but at this point, I just probably just spending time with my family. Tell us something that you always dreamt about doing, something on your bucket list. You know, I, I thought about this hard. I think bucket list thing, I've always wanted to take a hunting trip somewhere, whether it be going to Kansas to deer hunt or a duck hunt in Argentina, something like that I think would be really cool and interesting uh, to be able to do. What's something students might not know about you? I don't know. I'm pretty open with everybody that I come to meet. Uh, I don't really, I mean, I'm open about everything I do. We talk about my kids and my wife and stuff in class uh, I don't know I don't know I've thought really hard about that and I can't think of anything that I just haven't told people what's something you love about this school I don't know if there's anything that I don't I've been here for our, this is my 13th year and I I love the kids at this school uh, I give a lot of them a hard time and they know that but uh, I just love the relationships I've been, I've been able to build with the kids here at this school. And being here for a long time, I've been able to see kids that have come through here, see where they started, and then see them now as adults, you know, and what they're doing with their lives. And that's just part of what I've, 
I love about the school is seeing kids how they come in as ninth graders and we've got this me against the world mentality and uh, being able to work with the kids here and just see how their life changes and, and improves as they go through.